Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's lose problem that says determine the center of mass x bar y bar c bar of the homogeneous solid block. So basically, we have to divide this problem into three parts. This part, this triangular part right here is going to be part one. This second part is going to be this rectangular part right here. And the third part is going to be this last triangle right here. The other thing that you need to understand is that when you have a triangle, let me look at it straight from the side, then its center of gravity is located, if this is one, it's located at one third of that length. And same thing vertically. This is where the centroid is. Now that you know that, then the problem is probably becoming so much more obvious. Just one little thing that I want to make sure you guys understand is that, make it more obvious here, this would be something like that. Actually look a little bit more to the right probably. I would say right there. So this is one third of that length and this is one third of that length. Be sure you understand that and then the problem will become really easy. You know that the center of gravity of this first piece is somewhere in there, inside of it. The center of gravity of the, sorry, I keep calling it center of gravity, uh, the centroid, it's right here. And then the centroid is right here, which is always one third of the length. Remember that. Now let's build our table. Our table looks something like this. We got the volume x, y, and c location of the centroids. Now, the location on x multiplied by the volume, same for y, and same for c. And then we have part 1, part 2, and part 3. And then we're going to need to find these sums. Oops, wrong that one in the wrong spot. I keep making this mistake. This is not the first video where I do this. Sorry about that. It's right here. And then this is one. Oops, this is one. This is two. And this is three. Okay, back on track. So. The volume of the first piece, let's call it B1, is equal to this length right here, which is 1.5, times the height of the whole shape, which is this length right here, which is times 1.8. Let me write parentheses to make it more clear. Sorry, I'm writing at the bottom of this thing, so my handwriting gets worse divided by 2 because it's a triangle, times the thickness, which is 0.5 given right here. This is equal to 0.675 cubic meters. 0.675 cubic meters. The volume of the second part, which is the rectangular shape, is given by the length from here to here, times the height, times the width. From here to here. So that would be 2.5 times the height, which is 1.8 times the thickness, which is 0.5. And that is equal to 2.25 cubic meters. 2.25 cubic meters. And the last piece, which is a triangular shape, just like the other one, if you look, it's the exact same shape as this one, just in a different spot, but it has the exact same dimensions, which is 1.5 times 1.8 times the thickness of 0.5. Same thing, so it's the same as you want, which is equal to 0.675 cubic meters. 
just by observation you can always save time in calculations and you can also see if your calculations are making sense so always try to be observant it's good practice 0.675 cubic meters for the last one so now we're going to locate each of the centroids and we're going to do this first centroid which is right here and you know that it's located one third from where the triangle begins so it's one third from here and you know that that length is 1.5 so it's 0.5 but from the zero axis you have another 0.5 by the thickness of the block therefore it's located at in the x at one now one third uh, i'm sorry in the y is located at 0.25 which is half of it half of this thing so that will be at 0.25 and in height is one third of 1.8 so it's this one third which is 0.6 this is solid meters. For the second one, which is the uh, rectangular shape, it's located at half of this shape, which is 0.25 in the X. In the Y, it will be half of the rectangular shape, which has a, uh, a size of 2. Um, let me see, is that 2? No, it's 2.5. It's 0.5 plus 2, so it's 1.25. And then half of the height and half of 1.8 is 0.9. Again, this is all in meters. And the last piece, which is this triangular shape, is one third. I mean, in the X is half of this, so it's 0.25 again. In the Y is one third of the triangle plus the 2.5 that we had before, which would make it 3, because the triangle has a a width of 1.5, one third of that is 0.5 plus 2.5, that's 3. Okay, perfect. Now the height is at 0.6, just like the other triangle, which is one third of this number right here. Now we're going to multiply the volume by each of the coordinates to fill out the rest of our table. This is 6.75. This is, uh, I'm, I don't want to write down the units all the time, but this is meters to the fourth and same thing for the next eight values that I'm going to be writing. So it's 0 0.169, 0 0.405, 0 0.5625, 2.81, 2 2.02. This is 0 0.169, 2 0.025, 0 0.405. Again, these values are, are calculated by multiplying xv times the volume, so it's x times v. In this one is y times v. And in this one is z times v. In each row respectively to get those values. The bottom is simply the sums. So when we sum them all up, the sum of this three of this column is 1.4065. Sum of the second is five round. And sum of the third is 2.83. Now at the very beginning, sum of the volumes is 3.6. And this is in meters cubed. And this is in meters to the fourth. Meters to the fourth and meters to the fourth. Why is it in meters to the fourth? Because this is in meters. Meters to the one and this is in meters to the three. And M3 times M1 is M4. So we our value or our tables filled up. The problem is very simple. X, y, X bar, Y bar, and C bar are given by the formulas. And C. So you're basically dividing these three values by this value right here. And that will be 0.3907 and the units are going to cancel out to give you meters second one is 1.39 again units cancel out to give you meters and 0.786 and units cancel out to give you meters and this is the location of the centroid of this composite shape uh, if I had to draw it I would love to draw it but I have a mess, I made a mess of the drawing, so let me clean it up. 
perfect. Let me draw it. It's important for you to always try and, and draw your solution because you can see that it's a way of checking that your answer made sense. Because sometimes I like to show it even though it's just asking you for the coordinates. If you draw it and you get that your result points you over here, you, you can obviously see that way there's something wrong. The center of mass can't be there, right? So that's why I always do it at the end. So I double check, triple check my work because if you make a mistake, you get a bad grade. If 0 0.3907 in the X will be somewhere over there. Then we're going to go 1.39 over here and 0.786 it's a little less than half so this will be the center of the shape and like I said always check your work you check your work and it gives you a better grade I check my work and I make sure that I'm not uploading a video that will confuse you more so final answer and final answer